aesthetic electricity is useful and interesting. Now, for me, it's my flip-flops. There is always that one pair of shoes that, whenever I'm wearing my flip-flops, when I touch the car, I get a shock. And the reason why I get a shock is all to do with insulators and conductors. You may have come across these words before when we're talking about conduction of heat. It's very, very similar, but here we're just talking about the conduction of electricity. An insulator is something where the electrical charges can't move very easily through it. So things like rubber and plastic would be good examples of insulators. Conductors are going to be where the electrical charges can move easily through things. Example of this is going to be metals. Now the reason I always get an electric shock when wearing flip-flops is because I'm walking around in them all the time. And what is happening is that rubber on the bottom of the flip-flops, which is an insulator, and the carpet, or whatever I happen to be walking on, uh, which is also an insulator, they are rubbing together. And as they rub together, electrons are going to be scraped off from one and dumped onto the other. So as the flip-flop is rubbing along on the carpet, it's stealing electrons from it. So all of these electrons are going to go up here. It is just the electrons that move, nothing else. Positive charges don't move, um, just the electrons. These are the only bits that move. And you'll notice that overall, the carpet is now positively charged, and my flip-flop and me are now negatively charged because there are more negative charges than positive charges. So I've built up um, a, a negative charge overall um, on my flip flops, transfer through up to my body, and the carpet has got this ever so slight positive charge on it. Now, when I come into contact with something metal, all of these negative charges are going to rush. Um, towards the metal object and they are going um, to cause me to have an electric shock. Uh, so when I when I get into the car, when I touch the car, uh, there's going to be a, a very quick, very sudden transfer of electrons back um, into the ground and that's going to give me an electric shock. Now, depending on what materials there are, uh, the electrons are going to move different ways. So here we have two examples. We've got polythene, which is going to be rubbed with a cloth, and acetate, which is going to be rubbed with a cloth. When we are rubbing the um, polythene, the electrons are going to move in this direction. So all over here. So the polythene is going to end up negatively charged, and the cloth is going to end up positively charged. When we're rubbing acetate, the electrons move in the opposite direction. So we are going to end up with the acetate being positively charged and the cloth being negatively charged. What you need to know about all of these charges is that opposite charges are going to be attracted to each other, but same charges are going to be repelled from each other. So the positive and the positive are going to want to stay far apart from each other, and the positive and the negative are going to want to be really, really close to each other. There are two important uses of static electricity you need to be aware of, photocopying and spraying paint on cars. Both situations here you're going to have um, one thing being negatively charged, one thing being positively charged. Um, in the car the spray gun is positively charged and then the car can be given a negative charge so that the paint just goes onto the car and it can even get into the teen tiny little awkward places that aren't normally seen. The dangers are going to be sparks and lightning. So if you have a spark, um, say in a dry wood, um, you could get a forest fire starting, or if you have a spark near some petrol, that's going to start a fire, and lightning. 
lightning static electricity at work again and this causes many many problems uh, you know people being struck by lightning causing fires and causing lots of damage thanks for watching subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos check out my website promoscreen.com for any new videos all the videos sorted by exam board the blog and any um extra advice there is any comments questions topic requests or um, corrections below